Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial about color separation and how to do it on Adobe Illustrator. So here on my screen you can see there's a print artwork and I don't know how many colors there are. But before anything else, we need to eliminate the layers of the artwork. So the first step that we'll do is we'll select all of them and go to window. Let me just keep it as a comparison for you. Here is one group, here's the other. Now I'm going to select this and go to Window, Pathfinder, Divide. I'm going to use the Divide option on this artwork. The difference is between these two artwork is when I ungroup it, the artwork which is underneath gets all chopped off and that makes things easier to separate. Now if you see there are negative areas on this artwork but if I select this one, this is a complete piece. Now that is where Pathfinder is helpful in separating and flattening all your artwork so there is no artwork behind each other. So now we have this artwork. I'm going to select all, go to Window, Pathfinder and my option is open here and I'm going to press Divide. When you see it, it's all separated once I select ungroup. Now the next option is we need to figure out the number of colors. We should never try to judge it from our eyes how many number of colors there are on any screen print because sometimes there are more colors than what you have thought of. So to begin with, select the artwork again and go to window, swatches. I'm going to select on this folder called new color group. I'll name it as print artwork one and here you go we have totally one two three and four colors on this artwork what we'll do is we'll create some boxes box number one and i'll select this i'll just press option and drag the mouse downwards so i can get another copy there's an easier option of creating copies is just by pressing option or alt on your windows the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to press command d which is going to make more copies equidistant to the first two copies that were created right and with my black arrow selected, I'm going to just click on the colors and keep selecting and adding the colors according to the artwork. So there are four colors in this artwork. I have created four or five more artboards and I've just marked with margins so that you can see where it is copying. Let me just show you what I'm saying. What we need to ensure is once the color separation is done, it should be on the exact location of each artboard. So now I'm going to use the magic wand tool, which is very different from what we have on Photoshop. I'll click on this. I'm going to click on the first color. If you notice here, I clicked on the first color and all the objects of the same color have been selected together. So that is where the magic wand comes into use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Control C or Command C on Mac. Go to the next artboard, I'm sorry, go to the next artboard. Press V for the black arrow so that the next artboard is selected. And I'm going to press Command Shift V. This is the exact location of the artboard on the next artboard. I'm going to do the same function again. I'm going to use V to for the black arrow. And I'm going to use the magic wand and the so shortcut is Y, so I can just press Y, click on it, and you can see all the purple colors are selected, and I'm just going to press Control C for copy, move to the third artboard, press V, and select the artboard. Remember the step, if you don't select the artboard, your copy will not happen in this location. So to select the artboard, you have to use the black arrow and click on the artboard, and then press Command Shift V. So it is again going to copy in the same location on each artboard. Let's do the same thing for next one. So these are all the four colors that have been copied in the exact location of all the pages. When you keep them as printouts one over the other, they're going to form this entire artwork together just like this. So this is how you separate your color for screen printing. I uh, intentionally created these boxes so you can understand that all the artworks are exactly placed in the same location where it is needed to be on all pages. Now I'm going to do the reverse way so you understand why I did this. That is why we need to use Command Shift V as an option when you are copying any object onto other artboards so it copies in the same location. So now all you can do is just select all these 
artworks separately and color it as black and all these artboards the, the second third fourth and fifth are going to be printed on a gateway sheet or any transparent kind of pages and then those can be created as screens and don't forget to save your file as pdf or ai and share it with the printer and this will solve all your issues your printer will be happy and the industry will recognize your work i'm leaving a link of the color separated artwork right in the description for you to play around go check it out and if you want to learn further more about printmaking on adobe illustrator there's this video about creating multiple colorways really quick on Adobe Illustrator right here. See you.